All right, welcome back everyone to History for the Ages. I'm David, and I want to do another one of these little two-minute shorts about a name a lot of people haven't heard of before, a man named Leopold II, who is actually one of the more notorious men in history. So who is he and why is he so notorious? Well, he was the king of Belgium, you can see the years there, and one of the things that was happening during his time was the colonization period, where European countries were colonizing Africa. You could see on this map all the various countries colonizing Africa. And different countries colonized in different ways, and none of it was good, but the way that the Belgians used was especially horrific. And the person responsible for that was primarily Leopold II. He only cared about the resources there, not about the people at all. He wanted the ivory, the rubber, and he used forced labor to collect the resources. And it got to the point where the only thing people were doing there was collecting resources for him, not even cultivating food. And so there was famines, there was a dramatic rise in death rates, and it's an estimate, we don't know how many exactly, but maybe as many as 10 million people in Congo, in that area you see, of course, in blue on this map here, ended up being dying or, or killed or some or, or from the famine, some combination of um, just uh, some sort of thing that, that, that killed them, 10 million. And it has long-term impacts as well, because eventually you get to decolonization. That takes place in 1960, when, you know, Belgium says, all right, we're leaving. And you see, again, on this map, all the different countries and when they decolonize, but because when Belgium colonized, they treated the people there basically like stupid children, incapable of learning, there was no infrastructure, no school, no governmental uh, powers, that kind of organization, and the whole area kind of fell into tribal warfare. Um, this, of course, eventually leads to a horrific genocide in the 1990s in Rwanda, where this 85% of the population, which were Hutus, ended up massacring uh, the minority population of the Tutsis, about 1 million. Now, can you blame all that genocide just on Leopold II? Not all of it, but you could get, begin to see the, the chaos that was created as a result of his colonization. So it had horrific short-term impacts, and I think set the, the area of, of the Belgium Congo area into really a uh, down, downward spiral. So it was one of the more negative stories of history, but definitely one I wanted to share with people because a lot of people haven't heard of him before and don't know the whole history. So there's a quick little video on him that hopefully you can watch and share with others. All right, I hope you learned something there. Everyone have a great day.